Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to initialize our Laravel application. We're not going to do too much to this application. All we're interested in is that we can run the basic default tests. They should succeed. And then we can move on to install Jenkins and do the whole thing automatically. So let's get started. As now we have our Docker containers running, we can technically run composer commands inside of Docker, isn't it? So let's do just that. Docker compose run composer create project Laravel slash Laravel. I'm going to call it my blog. And uh, we're going to specify the version. 8.0. star and also prefer this. It looks like it's working. So what we're effectively doing is uh, on the fly we're starting some Docker containers, running the composer command inside of this, and it's going to create a Laravel application inside the my blog folder. Let's take a look at this. So yeah, inside of this folder, we have a new my block folder, um, but that's not really ideal. We want everything to be on the root level, isn't it? So uh, let's do this. Let's move everything from my blog to the current directory. And also we want to move everything Uh, the star to the star, including the .env file, of course. So now we have everything in the root level. However, we still have this abandoned and empty my blog folder. So let's remove this. My blog. There you go. So now it's gone. At this point, technically, we should be able to run the artisan test command. Let's give it a try. Docker compose run artisan test so it looks like everything has worked laravel ships with some basic dummy tests they're not really doing much but if something was fundamentally wrong with our application then at least we would know about it in the next video we're going to install jenkins and create a pipeline that will perform exactly what we just did running the composer up, run the tests, and uh, if the tests succeed, then it would eventually deploy the application in AWS. I'll see you in the next video.